Moving on, as India's record on minority rights becomes the talk of the world, especially post former US President Barack Obama's comments, I spoke to a former commissioner of the USC IRF, Johnny Moore, who disagreed vehemently with the assessment on India and the timing of the comments. I was particularly intrigued by your comment where you disagreed with President Obama's statements on minority rights in India. Now, you've headed a body, you've been a commissioner of a body that routinely rates India very poorly and marks India as a country of particular concern, particularly on this issue of minority rights and freedoms. So could you begin by explaining to me how someone like you, who's been part of this body and has produce those reports, disagrees with President Obama's comments made on Prime Minister Modi and India? Well, you know, like lots of people in a, in a democracy, I don't, I don't choose to believe uh, what I believe based upon what uh, leaders, uh, present or former, former say. And I, I just thought that the former president, uh, who is uh, one of the smartest and most sophisticated um, uh, leaders in American history, um, was uh, re remarkably unwise uh, to to make to make that comment. In fact, it's suspiciously un unwise. I mean, he he is not the type of leader that that uh, um, that that would that would just just say something without uh, without really really considering it. And so I I thought that I aside from the aside from the substance of his of his point of view, uh, I I thought the timing was just in, entirely entirely inappropriate. And to say that India would pull apart, I mean, it's like one thing I know about India, and you ask why I have a slightly different point of view, it's because I've, I probably because I've spent some time in India. I've you know, been to India more than 20 times, mainly when I was younger, but uh, but but through the years. And what I find is that India actually, it, it, the, the the DNA of India actually pulls together. <laughs> it doesn't pull apart. It's the, the, the more vibrant the debate in the democracy the more uh, the more passionate the disagreement when it comes to the religious diversity and and a 2000 different languages and 2000 different political parties maybe 5000 languages actually that's the secret of india the country pulls together it doesn't it doesn't pull apart it's like uh, it, it's like um, it's like metal when you put fire on it you know it gets it gets it gets stronger and so i was just really really um, really surprised by the by the timing the appropriateness and, and the substance of the former president's comments what do you mean by the timing of the comments well, I mean to, to to make those remarks uh, on on the eve or during the visit of the of of the prime minister. I mean that is a um, that is either a intentional or it's a political political mistake that should should be on uh, be well beyond a leader uh, with his uh, with with his experience. I mean it's there's only one message that uh, that is um, coming from this visit in the United States, and only one message you know that I I think. Uh, should be resonating with India, and that is that we're entering a um, a new moment between Indian and American relations. The relations have always been good. You know, we, we're we're the oldest democracy in the world, the largest democracy in the world. We're partners in all kinds of things. And in fact, in my my point of view, whether Prime Minister Modi was was your preferred Prime Minister in India, or whether President Biden was your preferred pre President in the United States, every single Indian and every single American, whatever their political persuasions. Should be standing and applauding uh, this historic moment between these two these two great great democracies. So I'm just trying to understand, as somebody who was part of this body, why don't you seem to agree with what the body's reports say? Uh, well, well, first of all, on the commission, there are nine commissioners, so it's a it's a it's a group mm. it's a group of commissioners, and one of the benefits of being on the commission uh, is the legislation that created the commission allows individual commissioners to express uh, their alternative alternative points of view. And and I express my alternative alternative point of view because you know as I said <laughs> to, to plenty of people over the last few days the United States is not a perfect country India is not a perfect country there are always things to criticize there are always ways to improve particularly in democracies because uh, because we are so diverse and we celebrate the competition of ideas and different points of view and our every election is an election that's more important than any other. But I thought it was absolutely um, uh, just an incredible flaw of the system, if not absurd, uh, to to say India uh, can be compared in any way whatsoever um, to the most most egregious um, violators of religious freedom and human rights around the world. We all know what those countries are. Uh, we all know what those countries do. We all know what the policies of those countries are. Um, and 
And I, I, I just, I just thought it was in a, I thought it was inappropriate. And I said, so at the time I say, so again, um, I, and, and by the way, what also shocked me about, um, the former president's comments, you know, the former president was the president of the United States for two terms. He can pick up the phone and call anybody in the world he wants to call and no answer is call. And that's the appropriate way of, you know, e even if that is his point of view, a, a point of view, which I think is absurd, you know, to, to comprehend the disillusion of India. Like, and I, I think that the former president, if he's got a criticism, you should do what friends do. You, you pick up the phone and you call the friend and you tell the friend uh, and you discuss it. And maybe there's more information or a different point of view. Let me just put it even more clearly. India is the single most important country in the world right now. There is no more consequential leader in the world than the prime minister of India, prime minister, prime minister Modi. And the only thing that uh, the leaders of the United States um, should be doing now, past and present, uh, is working on strengthening and celebrating uh, celebrating this relationship.